Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation. x minus 2 to the 5th power minus x minus 3 to the 5th power is equal to 1. Now, if you go ahead and expand both of these uh, powers, you're going to be getting rid of the x to the 5th. So you're going to end up with a quartic equation, which is somewhat solvable. You know, you can kind of go ahead and test it out. But uh, I'd like to do something else here. So I'm going to use a very, very powerful method. As you know, we've used that a lot in our equations. And that's called substitution. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, make some substitutions. First of all, I would like to call this u, okay? And I'd like to call this v, okay? So what does that give me? Well, it gives me that uh, u is equal to x minus 2 and v is equal to x minus 3. So you might be saying something like, well, we know that if you already call x minus 2, u, then we already know x minus 3, but because it's just u minus v, or u minus 1, uh, but we're going to do this a little differently. That's why I had to use two different variables here. Okay, so let's see how this proceeds. So first of all, obviously, from this result, I'm getting u to the fifth power minus v to the fifth power is equal to 1. That's my first equation. And then my second equation actually comes from the fact that uh, x minus 2 is 1 greater than x minus 3. So if I go ahead and subtract u and v, uh, the difference is going to be positive 1. Awesome. So this is a system I was trying to get. So a lot of times when we have a system, we try to reduce the number of variables and try to solve it in a single variable. Here we're doing the opposite. We're going from one variable to two variables. Okay, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to, again, I'm not going to replace u with v plus 1 here. Uh, or vice versa. You could do that. That's obviously going to work, but I'd like to do something else. I'm going to go ahead and factor e to the fifth minus v to the fifth. So let's go ahead and do that. u to the fifth minus v to the fifth can be written as u minus v multiplied by u to the fourth plus u cubed v plus u squared v squared plus u times v to the third plus v to the fourth. We know that, you know, you can diff uh, subtract, um, I mean, you can factor if you have the difference of the powers, you can always factor it. Uh, even if this is a plus sign, you can still factor it as long as the power is odd. Okay, so we know that this is going to equal 1, and this is going to equal 1, which means this is also going to equal 1. Okay, so that kind of gives us a nice equation. Let's go ahead and write that down. But when we write it, we're going to arrange this a little bit. I'm going to write it as u to the fourth plus v to the fourth plus. Now, the expression in the middle, the trinomial, I can actually factor out a uv there. So that is going to give me u squared plus, uh, plus uv plus v squared, which is equal to 1. And then I can just go ahead and take the u to the fourth plus v to the fourth and write it as, you know, uh, in terms of um, uv and u plus v or minus v. But I'd like to write this first uh, like u squared plus v squared squared. And then from that, I'd like to subtract 2u squared v squared. That's going to take care of u to the fourth plus v to the fourth. And then this expression here is uv multiplied by. Now, the expression inside the parentheses, I can go ahead and write it as u minus v squared. And that's going to give me u squared minus uh, 2uv but I do have uv, so I can go ahead and add the 3 uv here to make it positive uv, which is what I have, right? And again, this is equal to 1. Okay, awesome. Now, we can do one more thing here. We can write this as u minus v squared plus 2 uv, right? And that is going to be squared again, of course, because we're squaring the sum of squares, minus 2 u squared v squared plus uv, okay? And then this is going to stay the same pretty much. u minus v squared plus 3 uv equals 1. Now, what am I going to do here? Well, here's what we're going to do. We know that u minus v is equal to 1, so we're going to go ahead and substitute that. It's going to give me 1 plus 2 uv squared minus 2 uv quantity squared. You can write it that way. Plus uv times, you know that u minus v is 1, so 1 squared is 1 plus 3 uv, or u, yeah, that's right, uv equals 1. Awesome. Now, what we end up getting here is an equation that's only in uv, so it makes sense to replace uv with something. Let's call that a product. So let's call that uvp. So this gives me 1 plus 
1 plus 2p quantity squared minus 2p squared plus p times 1 plus 3p is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and solve for p here. This is going to give me 1 plus 4p plus 4p squared minus 2p squared plus p plus 3p squared and that is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and arrange these like terms. This is going to give me 2p squared plus 3p squared is going to give me 5p squared. 4p plus p is going to be 5p and then 1 cancels out and we end up with 0 on the right hand side which is actually pretty cool because that's easy to solve. Okay, we're going to take out a 5p here. That's going to give us p plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, we get two p values. One of them is p equals 0, and the other one is going to be p equals negative 1. So let's go ahead and solve for each one. As you know, p equals 0 means uv is equal to 0. And this de definitely indicates that one of them is 0. And of course, you're going to take this along with u minus v is equal to 1. So we kind of get a system here, right? And then from here, obviously, uh, we know that if u is equal to 0, so, so we can kind of proceed like this. If u is equal to 0, then v must be negative 1. If v is equal to 0, then u must be positive 1, right? Okay, cool. So we always knew that uh, their difference is 1. But here's the thing. If you use u, you don't have to use v because we, it, their difference is always going to be 1, right? So we know that. Okay, cool. Where do we know that? Well, let's go back to the original expression and our naming convention was that u is equal to x minus 2, v is equal to x minus 3. So what matters is just use one of these. So u is equal to x minus 2, right? Since u is equal to x minus 2 and we know that if u is equal to 0, from here you basically get x equals 2, which is going to be one of the solutions. And if u is equal to 1, and u is equal to x minus 2. If that's equal to 1, from here you're going to be getting x is equal to 3. Now what happens after this? We got two values and we said that this is going to be a quartic equation. If you go ahead and divide that quartic by x minus 2 times x minus 3, you're going to get a quadratic. If you try to solve it, you're going to get two complex solutions. And this means that the only real solutions are going to be these two ones, x equals 2 and x equals 3. And this concludes our video. All right. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.